Internet marketing for you. Tips for affiliate marketing too much of everything is injurious to begin with let's take this step by step. Assuming that you have already built your website or blog, the biggest concern would be to drive traffic in the direction that you want. You need people to see what you have to offer only then will they be able to buy what you have to offer. While directing this traffic to your site you must answer one simple question. How many times have you visited a page that you do not want to visit and how many times have you purchased something that you are least interested in? What is the use of people visiting your web page if they have no need or no interest in the product that you have to offer? Yes, you need traffic, but not traffic that makes no difference to your income. You need targeted traffic. Now think where you look when you want information regarding some product. How were you able to read this article? Well, because you looked for it. That is exactly what you need to do. Write articles for various publications. There are a number of online publications that are continually on the lookout for new and fresh articles. Ezine and Airport are two of them. People look up article directories for information. They look up reports and reviews before they buy any product. The traffic here will be targeted traffic. There is a good chance that you will be able to catch their interest here. The articles do not need to be too long and frequent. Simple articles that every person can understand ranging anywhere from 300 to 600 words would do the job smugly. You do not need to churn out hundreds of articles per day. Just two or three would be sufficient. If you could consistently do this, then you could generate around 100 targeted customers to your blog or webpage per day. You must keep in mind that not every potential customer becomes a buyer. In all probability, just 1% of potentials might be converted. That means for every 100 you will have one buyer. The rest of the calculation ought to be quite simple. For every 1,000 prospects, you would have at least 10 buyers, you have worn the same shoes so you know your customers the best. Next, you ought to think that how many times you have reached a site because you like the article related to it only to find out that the site is clustered with a 101 other products. How many times have you been too confused to make a purchase simply because there were too many products offered? How many times have you started with one product only to end up googling a bunch of other products? Was it not very annoying? You must bear this in mind for your potential buyers as well. Do not club everything in one blog or web page. If it is about making money online, then let it be just that. Of course you could have different blogs or websites for each and every product, but do not put them all in one blog or website. Having different websites for each product will not confuse the potential buyer. Nowadays there are a number of sites offering free hosting, so it is not that difficult. You must also consider that the potential customer will also be searching for you product's review. If you do not offer the review, they are bound to search. Who knows they might end up buying the product from the ones who have included its review in their site. Make sure that you enumerate all the benefits of the product which would ascertain that the reader does not search anywhere else for it. One of the major factors in convincing someone to buy a product is a first-hand experience with the product so do not forget to include testimonials. Also remember to take permission for using a particular person's name or photograph. Also give related references. If you could also include articles on your website telling the readers the uses of the product and a little on how to use the product your potential buyers could quite easily be convinced to buy the product. An extra page with a captivating article, including calls, to act on the information could do wonders. Interesting headlines are a very effective tool to make readers wanting to explore more. Make a personal connection. Don't you simply love free reports? Your readers love them too. It would be a great idea to provide free reports to your readers at regular intervals. There are a number of autoresponders that you could use. The call to subscribe to your free reports must be compelling and placed at the most prime place on your website so that the potential buyer cannot miss it. This would also help you to build that, oh so talked about, mailing list. It will also provide a personal aspect to the whole deal. Analytically speaking a sale is generally closed on the seventh call. Free reports do well to remind the prospects about your product. 
the emails that you send should be useful. Do not forget to add reasons for buying your particular product. Also remember not to make these contacts too frequent since they may get annoying and do not make the email sound too promotional. Just informative. Another word of advice is not to use the term free since many spam filters would certainly direct these mails into the junk mail. Do not forget to generate the need for your product in each mail.